out with the old, in with the new. So I pulled the trigger on getting some lithium batteries to replace these crappy old Trojan L16 batteries. I only have about eight left of the 12 that I started with about three and a half years ago. I decided I'd go with the Alt E Stores Kilovolt 3.6 kilowatt hour 12 volt lithium battery. I bought four of them to replace all these Trojans. This is my rig in the garage. It's a 24 volt inverter. And the reason why I bought four of those kilovolts is because you can string them up to 48. Now I will likely replace this Outback Power inverter with a 48 volt unit, or I may go with a Schneider unit. But today I'm going to be getting the batteries delivered and get them charged up. And this is a solid copper bar that I will use to string two of the kilovolts together to make 24 while I await what I'm going to do with the inverter. We'll see. I'm going to contact Outback Power and Alti and figure out what I'm going to do with that inverter. But I would really like to go 48 volt. Okay, right here, I just want to show you how bad these Trojans are. They're just puking all over the place. And later on in this video, I'll show you something else that I found out about these batteries. Look at that. Look at my floor. <laughs> I got horse mat underneath these batteries. And I'll show you a little bit later on what happened with that. Okay, in this portion here, I'm just going to show you me disconnecting everything. And I sped it up because I hate long videos, and I'm sure you don't like long videos either. But essentially, I disconnected the two strings from the positive and negative bus bars, and then just started detaching or destringing these batteries. Or gloves, eye protection, yakety schmackety. Now, this is what I wanted to show you here. This is kind of funny. So I decided I check. DC voltage on each of these six volt batteries. And I'll show you what I found. Right here, this dog is sitting at what, 4.2? 4.2. Yeah. And what I did is I kept checking all the other batteries, and then so each string essentially had one battery that was toast. The one down there at the end. 4.3 and that one was 4.2 so it was just killing my whole system this thing couldn't even hold a load all right so here are the 12 batteries that I originally bought years ago the six on the end here are completely toast I mean I tried everything to get these things going the six over here are sitting at about 6.3 volts so they have a little bit of life back into them, but I'm not going to deal with flooded lead acid batteries anymore. Okay, here's a view of everything ripped out, all well, the batteries ripped out at least. And I've got some work to do here on the floor. 